Yeah, I wish I was a little bit taller. I wish I was a baller. I wish I had a girl with a good I was baller. I wish I had a rapper in a hat with a back six point four. Everyone, it's Koji Neko here, and I'm making a first year right now. So, um. If you don't follow my Instagram or my Musical.ly, I am making a fursuit project, so I'm going to be making this big fursuit. Um, I originally was going to make it a full suit, but because this full suit costs so much and I don't really have enough money for it, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a half suit, a digi-grade half suit, so I'm going to have the legs, the arms, and the head. So I'm going to be doing that, and um, if you haven't read the title, um, I'm gonna be talking about, um, you know, like any tips I have for like sewing on fursuits or just costumes in general. So um, hopefully this is gonna be fun. And um, my room's a total mess, and this is, and I'm probably and this is the only room I can really talk in without hear hearing any fans, and it's actually cool enough in here for me to talk about it. So um, yeah, I'm gonna get started, and um, hopefully. There will be no disruptions going on right now. Art. If you're making a costume, you should always um, draw it out before you um, even start thinking about making it. Um, when I made mine, I was going to do my um, persona, which is um, pretty much another Dutch angel dragon. But um, it turned out I didn't really like it too much, and I already made the paws, like the hand paws, um, which is actually going to be over here. Here's one of the paws right here. And um, you can see it's already made, the claws are already hot glued on, and <clears throat> you know, it's just like when you already made it, you kind of have to make your costume based around it. And this isn't like my first um, costume design, I have like multiple throughout my um, sketchbook here. Here's like one of them. Um, I didn't really like them too much because he was like black and white and red. It was like the Sonic OCs that are all black, white, and red. Or like the MLPs. Um, here's some um, comparisons to the heads I want. Um, another character design. I was gonna do um, a Panda Hero based outfit, like based off of um, a PV I saw. Um, this one's gonna be the big suit. And um, he was mostly black, and I didn't like it too much. So um, I went mostly white and mostly blue because I love um, white and blue. And um, black as like the hands and paws were what I decided on. So earlier, here's some of the heads I drew. <coughs> the um, tuny head was I found a picture online and then I just drew it out, and um, so I can have a general idea what the head would look like. And so, so it'd be easier for me to decide if I wanted like a kimono, which is the Japanese fursuits, which is. <laughs> Japanese freeze season. <clears throat> and so I drew up the head foam base that I found, and this is what I just found, and this is what I liked. And um, here's a tuny fursuit head where I just kind of drew up the shape. The um, actual fursuit was already furred, so I just kind of drew that. Here's a circle head which has a very different shape to it, to it where it has it goes straight to the point, and the bends and curves in different ways than rather than the tuny head which is for pretty much mostly curved. And here was a, another kimono, kimono um, fursuit head that I looked up. I didn't really like how the picture was turning out and I didn't really, and I found out the kimonos were really hard to make um, for like, beginners so I decided to go with the tuny head because that was um, simplest for me to decide on. Um, I would recommend um, drawing it out like I did if you really want to decide on the type of head you want. Um, it doesn't have to be a particular species, but if you really know what species you want, go with finding different versions of that head, maybe do some variations to it, so um, make it these different kind of shapes and looks. It's all depending on you, but this is what I did. So when you're starting your fursuit, what you want to do is you want to um, make it um, maybe a season before, like a convention or something, um, or maybe Halloween if you're gonna do it for Halloween like I'm doing. Um, so pretty much, um, just make it the season before or just start it early. <laughs> I mean, um, you don't wanna, um, get, like, 
last minute and it'll look just really sloppy and it'll look really really bad. <laughs> um, you won't maybe you want to try um, practicing with some foam and you want, might want to start practicing on sewing in general. Um, what I decided to do, which I, I tend to have a habit of doing, um, this is like something I do every time, I don't recommend doing this, um, but um, I just kind of went ahead and I started sewing. That's what's like. <laughs> um, I have some pillowcases before, I have used a machine before, and I would highly recommend using this machine if you're working with the big pieces, like the big bodysuit. But if you're working on the small designs, like the spots, maybe the, like, sewing to get on the ears, or like a pattern on the ears, you, or, um, like, if you're cosplay, you might have, like, um, some really intricate designs, like embroidery on it. And I would highly recommend um, hand sewing those together. Um, when it comes down to embroidery, um, get an embroidery machine. <laughs> but that's really expensive. If you're just doing this as a hobby, I wouldn't recommend um, getting a sewing machine or going that far. But if you're doing this as like your job, then yeah. <laughs> paper is is um, pretty much my general idea for how much fabric I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to need for this project. Right now I'm making a bunch of dummies so I'm going to be using scraps for that because my mom has a lot of quilt fabric so um, I'm pretty much just using the scraps so I don't need to get any more fabric for that So because I don't want to make the final look any messier than it's probably going to look like. So right here um, was my um, was from my my shoulder width all the way down to around my ankles. So this was going to be the um, torso area and I'm transing it by two. So um, I have the inches here and um, I figured how many yards it would be. But um, once I found out that was too much, I decided to um, just make the did you great suit? So we have the, um, pretty much my waist length here, and I'm tightening it by two. It's probably gonna be a little bit more, but that's no worries. Um, here's the um, length from my um, hips down to my ankles, so I will have um, that much length. And here's the um, how much the fabric would be if it's just like um, one yard. So um, so one yard is 36 inches, and it's by 60 inch of width. Make sure you know how much width your fabric is because you don't want to get like so much yard and then spend a lot of money on it and then realize that you have way too much fabric than you actually need. Um, here's my arm. Um, it wasn't too much of a big deal. I just kind of measured the um, length of my arm for now because um, I'm probably going to use some leftover fabric from maybe my torso or maybe my tail. From the feet and the head, I just kind of assumed it. It's probably going to be using some scrap. Um, I would I recommend to get more than you think you need. Um, I'm probably going to just use some scrap. Uh, for my feet and my paws, there's going to be a some leftover fabric used for that, so I'm not too worried. Um, the head, it's kind of iffy. Um, I might get a little bit more. Just maybe like instead of um, two yards, I'm like in a two yards and a half, which I calculated. So um, all in all, um, the this would be one yard. Um, the tail would be one yard, and I might use half a yard for for the other color because this is a multicolored suit. I'm gonna be um, so this is just pretty much the purchasing phase of it right now, which is kind of late, but it's not a big deal. Another thing that you'd want to do is to make some dummy hands, if you, or just like dummies in general, not dummy hands. But that's what I did with my gloves. Um, I don't have the dummies right now, they're kind of buried. But um, with my paws here, um, you can see that they look kind of pretty good for somebody who like made this on their first try. But these paws aren't the first paws I made. These were the um, probably the last ones I made before I picked up the um, um, the pattern. I just kind of drew it out. I followed the instructions that um, I found, and then I just sewed it together on some scrap fabric. I, if you're gonna sew anything, definitely make some dummies if you're making your own pattern. Even if you're following somebody else's pattern, I would really recommend making a dummy first. So my dummies.
Um, just to give an example, like if you're starting out sewing, um, this is what it looks like. <laughs> but um, as you can see, this is not perfect. I was going to originally do five fingers, but as you can see, this did not turn out very well. <laughs> this would be so sad if you used your expensive fur fabric on something as messed up as this. <laughs> So again, I want to use some dummies. Another example of um, making your own patterns. This is my tail for um, my Dutch Angel Dragon, which is right here. So here's the um, Dutch Angel Dragon pattern. Here's the holes um, for the spots. I already cut out the area where the spot would go. You can see the evidence right here. And this is all cut out on some like um, some general sewing paper. Um, it, all I used was like this one front sheet. You can definitely um, use some newspaper for making your patterns. Um, I wouldn't recommend it, but um, it's a cheaper and faster way of um, making your patterns. Um, I wouldn't recommend just using some normal paper. Just find something really flimsy, um, but not easily destructible. Um, for like, I'm using some harder stuff, like um, for and making kind of finding a cheaper way out when it comes to um, like making these claws. What all I all I did was that I used some Sculpey that I found at Michael's. Not, um, no, Joanne's. I got this at Joanne's. Um, Sculpey is really easy to use and um, it's um, pretty easy to sculpt everything by hand. If you want to, you can get some um, sculpting items or whatever. I don't know what they're called, <laughs> but um, you can pretty much do that and you can make anything you want out of it. Um, you can make statues or you can just like make your own figures, but um, what right now you just want to make something, um, if you just want to make something small, you can just maybe use half a brick. I used um, half a brick for these claws here. Um, if they're bigger, um, I would highly recommend using some aluminum foil for your, your shape and then you um, put the Sculpey over it because it would be easier to cook and it would be... <laughs> when you're using hot glue, this is a very, um, <laughs> Uh, this is a simple thing that you need to do. It's it kind of hot glue is eh. I mean, it's not. You don't need to do it for like cosplay, but for like fur suits, you definitely need to do it. But um, with you want to um, use the hot glue over some cardboard, and um, I have some low temperature hot glue, so I don't burn myself as easily. But um, it, a lot of people do is that they. Put rubber gloves over their hands to make sure that they don't burn themselves. <laughs> this is, every time you use hot glue, you're always gonna burn yourself. But my low temp um, glue, glue gun, it's um, really easy to get glue on your fingers, but it's easy to take off because it doesn't burn as much. <laughs> That's what I got for you guys right now. If you want anything else, um, please. Leave a like, subscribe, and leave stuff in the comments for me. I mean, if you have any questions, I'll feel free to ask. I might even cover it in another video for you guys. Um, so that's what I got for you right now. So goodbye, have fun, and enjoy sewing. And don't make any more sins than we do.